Hey everybody, so um, I'm back with another video. I done recorded this video like 50 times. Um, <laughs> it's like, dang, did I say what I had to say? I done said too many things, but anything, I don't wanna take too much of your time, but um, we had a snow day today. It definitely snowed a lot in Jersey, so um, yeah, I don't know how many inches we got, but uh, we're still here, you know, I'm still here, so it's just like, you know, could have been worse, um, thank the Lord that, um, we are still here so um that's basically it about that and yeah so welcome to all my new subscribers my old subscribers and my viewers thank you for subscribing thank you for staying with me um so let's get into the video okay so before i get into the video as you guys see by the title this is about how my, how i survive the protective style challenge and tips and tricks that i do um disclaimer these techniques and tips and tricks may not work for your hair so do not think that you know if you do such and such or if you use this product or what have you is going to work I'm not here to tell you that these products are definitely gonna work for your hair these are just tips and tricks that I use for my hair that works on my hair and that has helped me through this protective style challenge and you know definitely works on my hair so not saying that it will work for your hair just maybe you may get something out of it maybe you go put your own little twist on it okay and this is also to those of you out there that are struggling with protective style challenge or low i'm sorry not challenge but protective styling low manipulative styles and things of that nature and maybe you need some type of help or guidance guidance this may you know help you okay so just want to throw that out there don't i don't want anybody coming back to me so well i use that and it didn't work well no okay so yeah so that's basically about that okay so let's get into it so first things first you need moisturization yes you do i do i just said it I, I did say it i'm sorry you do need moisturization definitely need it because you know while your hair is up in some type of style even if it's your own hair or especially if your hair is mixed with you know kinky you know marley hair or synthetic hair or what have you definitely want to you know keep that moisture in because your hair is very intertwined into that committed style or into your own hair and so you know with the moisturization what I mean is that you may want to use a spray and the sprays that I've been using are the OBN natural hair care curl hydration spray and the allocated lemongrass um I'm oh, sorry, Alka Naturals Lemongrass Leave-In Conditioner and a new Naturals Just Water Lock and Seal Kit. Now, I'm not saying that you have to use these three or go run to the store or whatever and pick this up or run to online because these are not on the ground. But, you know, you can definitely do a DIY and I definitely showed that in my Kinky Twist video. I'll definitely link it down below of how I moisturize my hair in Kinky Twist. And you can definitely, you know, use water, some oil and some you know conditioner leave-in conditioner whatever conditioner that you use as a leave-in and i definitely got that from black is beautiful she showed a video of how you you know can mix that together and things of that nature so i have a video on that so definitely go to i'm not going to go into depth about that but you could definitely use what you have in your kitchen you don't have to go out to the store or go online and order and things of that nature especially if you're on a budget or if you just don't you know you're not you're not about that online life okay so yeah so here we go so um also um i do the lco method a lot of people do the loc method you know to each his own you do what you do you do what works for your hair everybody's hair is different so you can't go buy what other people's hair you have to go buy what you feel and listen to your hair okay that's what you have to do that's basically the bottom line okay so i do the lco method and the lco method lco or loc if you guys don't know you're not familiar l is for liquid um or leave-in i guess um C is for cream and the O is for oil or butter. So it could be LCOBS or LCO, oh, LCO or LOCSB or ABCFG. I don't know, but all that, you know, yeah. But anyway, um, that's a lot. So, um, but you know, you do what works for your hair. If you gotta do the whole alphabet, that's fine. So anyway, um, yeah, so I do the LCO method. Sorry, guys, I'm being funny. I'm being silly. It's late. Um, the LCO method is just basically, um, you know, that's what I do. I find that that works better for me and, you know, for my hair. So not saying that it will work for your hair, but it definitely works for my hair. So what I use for the L method is the Anu Naturals, like I showed you. And um, I don't, um, and I also use the, um, for the cream, my Cancer Shea Butter for Natural Hair. I alternate between different creams. I'm, I'm not sure what other cream I use. I have so many creams, but um, um, that's the one I picked up um, and also for my oil I use you know oil I use the um, freedom natural the uh, new naturals three C's carrot sealing oil and the texture natural he healing hair butter so I do the dynamic duo meaning that I use both sometimes because my hair can feel like the Sahara Desert I have high porous hair so I 
yeah I have to use both sometimes so I was like you know what let me just use both so I can pack a punch but um that's what I do and sometimes I switch up with the butter sometimes I switch up with the oil depending upon whatever because I have a lot of oils and stuff behind me so it depends on what I feel like grabbing for or what I want to use because I'm trying to use on my stash so that's basically it about that so yeah so definitely definitely want to do that and seal in all your moisture okay just make sure you seal in all your moisture because when you have your you know you put all that stuff in and you don't seal it in then you know sometimes that could probably go out you know depending upon your hair I'm not saying that it, it will but depending upon your hair hold on my battery about to die i'm about to switch it all right sorry my battery died so thank god for backup battery okay so anyway i forgot what i was even talking about okay but yeah so basically yeah you got sealing your hair you got to do what you have to do make sure that your hair is sealed in okay you don't want your hair you know just just seal everything in um if you can if that's that's your forte okay but i like to seal everything in that's what works for my hair doing protective style or man, low manipulative styles okay so um what else um yeah so during this protective style challenge um i definitely you could go back to all my wrap-up videos i definitely sum up all my moms so you could definitely go back so i'm not really going to talk about it but i just want to talk about some tips and tricks that i did and um so that's what i did and i definitely um been drinking my water been trying to drink my water sometimes i've been slacking off like this weekend i kind of slacked off a little bit oops but um but yeah i'm back on i would be back on it and um, i'm definitely definitely trying but um yeah water is definitely essential for you so definitely whatever you intake it definitely will reflect out on your hair so you definitely need to drink that water get that water i'm talking to myself too so we all need to drink water okay so um that's basically it about that and um so yeah, so basically you just, you know, moisturize your hair. You moisturize your hair if you're asking, when do you moisturize your hair? Well, you moisturize your hair when you feel your hair needs to be moisturized. I moisturize my hair when my hair feels like the Sahara Desert. And meaning my hair gets very, very dry. I have high porous hair. So when I feel as though my hair is feeling dry, I definitely spray my hair. I spray my hair every day. At least I try to every day. And or at least twice a day because I really, really need, I need that moisture. So I do that, you know, and um, so when I have a hair journal, a hair planners you guys know and i look back you know I, I write down oil one day no oil oil stuff like that and i do that because you know i do oil my scalp and i oil my scalp every other day or every two or three days you know depending upon how my scalp feels i definitely do that and i use these two oils um i've been using the jamaican black castor oil with lavender and the jamaican black castor oil with evco um, I haven't done a review on these, but I'll definitely go into more detail with these soon. So please stay tuned because I'm definitely in the castor oil challenge, but I definitely will be going into detail more sooner than you think. Okay, so be on the lookout for that video soon. Okay, so I use those and sometimes I use my peppermint tea tree oil by Eden Body Works. I use that as well. So those are the oils that I alternate around and plus I'm in the castor oil challenge. Even when the castor oil challenge is over... I will definitely keep using it, you know. So, I um, mean, I also tend to my edges and my nape area because those are the most fragile places of my hair to where it's like like thin and fragile. So, I definitely, definitely put on the JBC on my edges and my nape without fail. I try to do it twice a, twice a day, but... I do it every day without fail. I have to do it because I need to, you know, get my edges back in and I do some massages and stuff like that. So I need, I need that. So um, it's definitely, it is definitely helping, but I definitely go into detail in another video, but just know that it's definitely helping my hair. So, you know, also when you're protective style, especially if you do committed styles such as kinky twists, weaves, or whatever protective style that you do, you know, make sure that you, before you go, because some people do back-to-back -back protective hairstyles. So if you do that, make sure before you put your other hairstyle in, make sure you evaluate your hair. Miss Diva Deb had us do that. I think last month, evaluate our hair, look through it, you know, comb through it, not literally, but look, evaluate it, make sure everything's all right. If you need to trim or dust, or if you have to do a protein treatment or this and that and the other thing, you know, just make sure that your hair is all right so you can concentrate on that area. If there is an area that is problematic, you know, constantly, you know, when you, before you put that protective style in, you know what to do before you put the protective style in and know, you know, so you will not have a problem when you take that protective style down. Okay. So that's basically it about that. Um, make sure you just moisturize, not saying to moisturize your hair all the time, not trying to give you moisture overload because that can happen. Um, and you need that balance, like, you know, you need that protein, like that moisture and protein balance. You know, definitely can find that in, you know, certain hair books and Google and stuff like that. So you have to find that balance. But, you know, so I'm not seeing here and saying moisturize, moisturize your hair, you know, because sometimes moisture overload, you get that, your hair feels mushy and stuff like that. So you don't want to even run into that problem. So you just have to have that balance, okay? So I'm just basically telling you what works for my hair. Spraying my hair every day works. Spraying my hair every day works for me. 
okay works for me not saying it works for your hair but it works for my hair okay but anyway um so protecting my hair i definitely moisturize i seal in my moisturization i make sure that i tend to you know certain areas that are definitely definitely like problematic areas like my edges and my nape but i don't neglect my hair altogether i just you know pay close closer attention to those areas because i know i need to really work on those areas because i don't want to have you know big hair long hair with no edges okay or no nape you know <laughs> No, that's not me. That's not my forte. If that's what you want to do, that's when you want to. But for me, I just cannot do it, okay? So, but, you know, it depends on the person because the person could probably be taking medication or going through some things that may, um, you know, may do that to the hair. So, it depends on the person. So, not saying, you know, by you doing this and that, it's going to work. It depends on the person, the person's genetics, if they're taking some type of medication or things of that nature. So, everybody varies, okay? So, that's basically it. So, like I said before, this is what I do for my hair the bottom line okay this works for my hair um if you choose to use these techniques or certain things then that's just you but i'm um, not saying that this is definitely gonna work for your hair it's gonna make your hair grow 40 inches long overnight no this is just basically some survival tips on what to do when you are um and protective style, low manipulative styles, or things of that nature, okay? So that's basically it. So you don't have to run into any problems, like, you know, breakage, thinning, or things of that nature. So just, you know, just take care of your hair. Um, you know, take care of it like it's a baby. <laughs> um, you know, tender loving care and things of that nature. You know, make sure it's okay. Don't do your hair when you're mad. Um, you know, just take your time and you know patient just be patient be very very patient because that's what you gotta do with your hair you whatever you do to your hair is gonna reflect okay so just make sure that you just try and you know just take care of it take the tlc take the time to do it okay don't rush through the process because we all know that most wash days are the whole day <laughs> okay that's basically it. those are my tips and tricks and survival tips on you know protective styling um this can carry on to you know wearing my hair while it's out you know loose or what have you um but this is just basically what i do you know during my protective style you know protective styling and during the protective style challenge and so that's basically it you guys so i am out i know i talk too much and i really apologize about that but you know this is what i do i do this on my hair and i hope you guys find this very helpful so that's it you guys um um, so if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let us hit the ask. If you don't want to ask the comments below, if you can't, you can definitely send me an email at marquita1970 at gmail.com and I'll definitely reply back to you. Okay, thank you guys for watching. Peace!